Okay, Dr. Patrick and I are going to talk about herpes. Now, herpes is a type of virus that actually sets itself in your spinal column and can cause some symptoms. Actually, there are two different types of herpes. There's type 1 and type 2. Type 1 is usually the oral herpes. Type 2 is usually the genital herpes, but they can be passed back and forth. The biggest difference between the two is the symptoms are, are the same, but type 2 is usually a little bit stronger and lasts a little bit longer. Yeah, Some gonna, of the symptoms. Yeah, yeah. you're going to have a little blister, like when you walk on a new shoe and your foot gets a blister, that blister is going to pop up in and around your genitals. It can also be on the inside, so that's why it's, it's important for you to have frequent uh, genital testing of any type at your doctor's. But herpes is, is going to be in and around the penis, the vagina. It's going to look like a little blister, and it feels like someone dropped a hot match on, on your genitals. So you're going to definitely know that you have it, and you're not going to want to have sex. You are definitely going to want to get tested and treated for this. Right. It's going to hurt. It's going to burn. Um, it's going to tingle. It's going to be something like you've not felt before. And also, you're going to have some kind of honey-colored, crusted... Um, vesicle on the outside that looks, you know, a little bit like a cold sore, but usually down there. Yeah, it's it's an unattractive thing, but you're going to definitely be able to identify this one. It, it, it's very easy. Um, there's two types of outbreakers. There's a chronic outbreaker, someone that gets outbreaks every month, every two months, every three months, and then there's people that are infrequent outbreakers. A large percentage of the American population does have herpes. However, they use treatment uh, when if you're chronic, then you're going to want to use this treatment all year round. And if you're infrequent, you can use it just when you're going to have sex. Right. And let's talk a little bit about the testing. Actually, there's two types that we offer with sex check. There's a test that we check for both one and two as a long-term infection or a chronic infection. And um, one that combines one and two as a non-specific recent infection, usually meaning less than six months. Yeah. We can tell if you have I recently picked something up, if you've had a couple of risky days, you're going to know that you, you want herpes to be on that, on that everything panel if you're checking this off because we're going to be able to say, oh, you got something this recently. So also you can use this as a tool if you're having unprotected sex. And also if it's something that while you're out there playing with partners, it's something that you get to ask for because you say, well, I have my, my series of tests then you have the freedom to ask other people to get it. So you can say, well, I'd like to see your full panel or your herpes test too, along yeah. with your HIV or chlamydia or gonorrhea, if you want to play with me. And that's really important. Now, this test actually is very specific for herpes, but because you, you come up positive for it, does not mean that you have the active disease. It just means that your body's been exposed to it, has built up antibodies to it, and you may break out. So the telltale sign is actually looking for those blisters or those vesicles on the lips, on the genitals, on the anus. Um, sometimes on the inside of the mouth. Yeah, definitely. But, you know, the tricky thing about herpes is, and one of the reasons why it's so rampant in the population, is because it's a virus. And, you know, we've talked a little bit about shedding cells, and that's what virus and bacteria do. Well, this tends to shed the cells and can be infectious up to 72 hours, which is three days before you get the blister. And no so, outbreak. Yeah, so you don't even have an outbreak. And, and here you're passing, or someone could be passing herpes to you. That's why we recommend... Know your body, and if you are either a chronic or infrequent outbreaker, know when you're going to take that medication to protect yourself and to protect other people as well. So if you do come up positive, actually, for the herpes test, and you want to be placed on medication, we can do that for you. Um, we'll just give you a call with those results, and we'll talk about treatments at that point. Yes, most definitely. And remember, we'd also invite you to make a list of your partners, and we'd like to test and treat them as well.